Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are talking about the statement of profit and loss account and other comprehensive income based on the question which we have discussed earlier. Now, do remember one thing. Name of the company should appear. The name of the statement should also appear. And for the period it covers, it should be appear. And the fourth thing is, the figures are rounded to thousands. They are not up to last rupee in thousands. Revenue, 22 to 29,000 plus 8,800. How this 8,800 comes up? You know that 300 per month jo aapne services charges ke liye liye hai usko agar aap char se multiply kare to hi banta hai 1200 yani 1.2 million theek hai aur ek saal to guzar gaya to usme se 4 million jo hai wo aapka is saal ki income mein aayega wo aa gaya to baki bacha aapke paas 12 12 mein se bhi dekhe aap jo agle saal char dena hai wo aapne leke jana hai current revenue ke liye और बाकी जो है वो लॉन्ग टर्म डेफर्ड रेवेन्यू कहलाएगा तो इस केस में हुआ ये है कि जो 10 मिलियन में से आपने 12 निकाल दिया बाकी 88 जो है वो उस सर्विस चार्जेस का रेवेन्यू है उसकी कॉस्ट नहीं रेवेन्यू है तो इसमें देखें आपने वो 8800 जो है ना ऐड ऑन किया सेल्स में आप देखें कि डेप्रेशन की फिगर एक डिटेल आएगी कि टोटल डेप्रेशन ऑफ 3 एसेट्स बिल्डिंग की भी और प्लांट की भी और ऑफिस फर्नीचर्स की भी सब को जब ऐड अप करेंगे तो ये फिगर बनेगी तो आपकी कॉस्ट ऑफ सेल्स आ जाएगी आपने ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट निकाला उसके बाद एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एक्सपेंस एडजस्टेड फॉर इशू कॉस्ट याद है वो उसने एक मिलियन की जो इशू कॉस्ट की थी लोन की वो इसने ऐड किया हुआ था ट्रायल बैलेंस में हमने उसको वहां से निकाल लिया है और इसको हमने माइनस करना है बैलेंस शीट में लोन की कॉस्ट से मार्केटिंग एक्सपेंसेस फाइनेंशियल चार्जेस and profit before tax. Taxation mein aai dekhen. Current tax jo hai, usne kyunke bata diya ki aapki taxable income jo hai, is saal ki wo 20 million hogi, to is liye us par 35% aur jo different tax mein timing difference hai 10 million ka, us par bhi 35%. Ye rates jo hai, change hota hai every year almost. Lekin humare yaan Pakistan mein kuch arsa ye 35% raha hai aur aaj kal ye 29% chal raha hai. Profit after tax, then other comprehensive income that is 1400 and gain on revaluation 2000. So your total comprehensive income for the year is 32,700. Remember one thing here, as I said, these other comprehensive income, this statement can be prepared separately also. And then we take add at here. Yani we just put here one figure. There may be more than one figure. There, here are two, so I just put it together. Now, Statement of change in equity, there is not, nothing much in it. In fact, if you look the opening balance previous year and then share capital, there is no revaluation previously, then retained earnings the total and then total comprehensive income and there is a revaluation. So simply balance at 30th June 2020 is 100 million, 2 million, 49 and the total is 151. This is equity. Now, in the balance sheet, we put all these heads, share capital, revaluation reserve, retained earning, and the total comes to the uh, equity, that is 151,205. 